Imagine you receive an email from your bank asking you to confirm some details. You click the link, enter your information, and continue your day. A few minutes later, you find your accounts emptied and your identity stolen. All because your email provider couldn't protect you from phishing scams. But don't worry, I have tested all the best email providers so you don't have to. I have narrowed it down to the top seven options available today. In this video, I'll be pitting them against each other in a multi-round elimination showdown, comparing them across four rounds, security and privacy, features, ease of use, and pricing. I'll be eliminating email providers in each round, narrowing it down until the best one is determined as the best email provider for 2025 and beyond. Also, don't forget to share in the comments who you think deserves the crown. And hey, if you love saving money like I do, make sure to use the special links I've added in the description for up to a whopping 60% off on the best email providers. Why spend more when you can save? All right, without further ado, let the showdown begin. For round one, let's see which email providers do the best job of keeping your email data secure and which fail. Security and privacy are crucial when your data is constantly moving through the digital world and your email account is no exception. Let's start with Gmail, the email giant we all know. Gmail secures your messages with advanced encryption, such as transport layer security, also known as TLS, which keeps them safe while they are sent and stored. It's very effective at filtering out spam and offers standout features like two-step verification and a confidential mode for added privacy. Speaking of privacy, Gmail follows strict privacy rules like GDPR, claiming it only uses your data to improve your email experience and not to sell ads. Comforting. Right. Switching to Microsoft's email powerhouse. Outlook uses transport layer security, TLS, to protect the connection when an email is sent. It sounds fancy, but it just means your email is safe while it travels to the recipient's email provider. However, once it gets there, it might not stay encrypted. Outlook also has a feature called Secure or Multipurpose Internet Mail Extensions, S slash My. While that name is a mouthful, it simply means that your email's content is encrypted so that only the person you're sending it to can read it adding an extra layer of security. Outlook also complies with major privacy laws like those in Europe, California, and Brazil, making it a solid choice for users who value data protection. However, if you fancy encryption, then ProtonMail should be of interest to you. With its pretty good privacy end-to-end -end encryption, often referred to simply as PGP, your emails are locked with a unique digital key that only you and the intended recipient can access. This means that not even Proton can read or access the content of your messages, ensuring maximum privacy and security for your communications. Proton Mail operates under Switzerland's strict privacy laws and only collects metadata when ordered by a Swiss court during a criminal investigation. It also avoids tracking personal details, such as IP addresses. Hence, it screams privacy first without saying a word. On the other hand, Tutor Mail is designed for those who want quantum safe security. It uses strong encryption methods like AES 256 and RSA 2048 to protect your emails now while also adding quantum safe encryption. Kyber 1024 to guard against future threats. AES 256 scrambles your data, making it extremely hard to crack. And RSA 2048 ensures only the intended recipient can read your message. With these layers of protection, Tutor Mail keeps your email secure both today and in the future. Bold move, Tutor Mail. It's also GDPR compliant. Plus, its servers are based in Germany, where strict privacy laws provide extra protection for your information. Next is Zoho Mail, which protects data with TLS and AES 256 encryption and adds multi-factor authentication for good measure. Privacy is central. There are no ads and no data mining. Zoho even allows users to retain control over their data while complying with GDPR. Enter Yahoo Mail. Trust issues, anyone? While it uses TLS for encryption in transit, it skips end-to-end -end encryption, meaning Yahoo and trusted partners could access your emails. In addition, it offers only basic security features like two-factor authentication, which puts a lot of responsibility on the user to ensure their own total security. Oh, and about its breach history. <sighs> 
moving on. Finally, iCloud Mail offers encryption in transit and at rest on Apple servers. However, it does not offer end-to-end -end encryption outside Apple's ecosystem because it must interoperate with the global email system. Therefore, email sent to third-party services lose this encryption. On the plus side, iCloud boasts features like mail privacy protection to block email trackers and hide my email for anonymity, but its limitations might raise eyebrows for privacy enthusiasts. So, who's out? Yahoo Mail for monetizing your data, and iCloud Mail for not offering full end-to-end -end encryption beyond Apple's ecosystem. Moving on to round two, let's compare the productivity tools each email provider offers from advanced features to integrations. Starting with Zoho Mail, the last survivor from the previous round. Zoho Mail offers an ad-free email experience and seamlessly integrates with Zoho suite of tools, including Zoho Desk, Work Drive, and CRM, making it perfect for businesses. It also includes a calendar, task manager, and contact organizer, as well as an offline mode for composing and queuing emails without internet access. The free version supports up to five users and provides email hosting for one domain, with 25 megabyte attachments, ideal for small teams. Businesses can create custom email domains and migrate from services like Google Workspace or Microsoft 365. Tutor Mail, meanwhile, focuses on privacy with features like encrypted calendars and contact management. It supports custom email domains, but lacks extensive integrations. The free version is restrictive, offering only one gigabyte of storage for a single user and a 25 megabyte attachment limit. Proton Mail excels in privacy and encryption, boasting features like expiring emails, no IP logging, and Proton Bridge for integration with email clients like Outlook or Apple Mail. Free users get one gigabyte of storage, 50 emails per hour, and 150 emails daily. Also, Proton Mail's integration with Proton Drive and secure link sharing stand out, but it isn't built for bulk emailing. Gmail, the household buddy, shines with its 15 gigabyte free shared storage, productivity tools like Smart Compose and Smart Reply, and support for 500 daily emails with its free version, or 2000 with Workspace. It allows 25 megabyte attachments and robust third-party add-ons, making it a versatile tool for personal and professional use. Outlook offers 15 gigabytes of free storage, matching Gmails, but excels at integrating with Microsoft 365 tools like Word and Excel. It also offers features like group emailing, schedule sending, and file attachments of up to 150 megabytes for premium users. However, free accounts cap attachments at 20 megabytes and emails at 300 daily. Now, for the elimination. Despite strong privacy features, Tutor Mail lacks the integrations and flexibility of Zoho Mail, Gmail, Outlook, and Proton Mail. Its restrictive free plan and limited productivity tools make it less suitable for professionals and businesses. That said, Tutor Mail exits this round. All right, we're down to four. Who's getting knocked out next? Drop your guesses in the comments. And if you're enjoying the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. It means a lot. Thank you. Moving on to round three. Let's see how user-friendly each provider is. Does it make managing emails effortless or does it complicate things? Here's how these contenders compare, starting with Outlook. Known for its blend of functionality and ease of use, Outlook is embedded into Windows 11 making it accessible to Windows users. It's also available for Mac, web, mobile, and Linux. Setting up an account is straightforward for most users. You simply link your Microsoft credentials and you're ready, especially with seamless Microsoft 365 integration. However, some features like syncing custom domains or third-party apps can be challenging for less tech-savvy users. For instance, I once assisted a friend with setting up a business email through the Microsoft 365 Admin Center it took effort but delivered excellent synchronization and a professional touch. Outlook also lets users sync accounts like Gmail, Yahoo, and iCloud, consolidating email management. It excels in productivity with built-in calendar, tasks, and contacts integration. The downside, its feature-packed interface might feel overwhelming for beginners. Zoho Mail, on the other hand, is more suited to professionals than casual users. Its guided account setup simplifies the process for most users, but technical steps, such as configuring DNS settings during migrations, might frustrate new users. Zoho's clean, productivity-focused interface feels intuitive after some exploration, though casual users may find it complex at first. Zoho also includes accessibility features like keyboard shortcuts, and customizable mail views. Still, navigating its extensive settings can feel like a loyalty test. 
ideal for professionals, but might be too much for casual users. Gmail offers unmatched simplicity and usability. Its clean interface prioritizes functionality over flair, and setting up an account is effortless with simple guided steps. While some might find its minimalism dull, the intuitive layout ensures easy navigation. Gmail integrates seamlessly with Google's ecosystem, enhancing productivity. Although it lacks a desktop app, it compensates with a responsive mobile app and a smooth browser experience. ProtonMail stands out for its privacy focus and straightforward setup. Its minimalist design with built-in integrations prioritizes practicality. While it lacks a dedicated desktop app without Proton Bridge, it delivers a secure, distraction-free email experience. That said, here is the verdict for this round. After showing impressive prowess in rounds one and two, Zoho Mail and Outlook take a bow out from this round. Why? Simple. Their overwhelming interfaces and technical hurdles make them less appealing to everyday users. This leaves Gmail and ProtonMail as the strongest contenders, as they offer simplicity and ease of use for a broad range of users. Now that we're down to the final round, who do you think should take the crown? Team Gmail or Team ProtonMail? Please leave your votes in the comments as well. Gmail, part of Google Workspace, offers various plans to suit different needs. The most popular plan is the free one, which provides 15 gigabytes of shared storage across Gmail, Google Drive, and Google Photos. This tier includes essential features like email filters, spam protection, and seamless integration with other Google Workspace tools, making it sufficient for most casual users. Gmail also offers a range of paid plans to suit different needs. The Business Starter Plan, which costs $6 per user per month, provides 30 gigabytes of storage, custom domains, and video meetings with up to 100 participants. The Business Plus plan maxes out these offerings and includes advanced tools for $18 per month. The Enterprise plan includes similar features but with custom pricing. Speaking of Proton, the free plan offers one gigabyte of storage, while Mail Plus at $3.99 per user per month includes 15 gigabytes, 10 email addresses, and priority support. The higher tiers, Proton Unlimited and Proton Duo, offer more storage and features for a few extra bucks monthly. Businesses can choose from options like Mail Essentials, Mail Professional, and Business Suite. However, if you're a casual user and the Mail Plus package is a good fit for your needs, I have something better to sweeten the pot. Just two days ago, I came across a hidden page offering 60% off this plan. I've added the link in the description, so be sure to check it out while it's available. That said, the best email provider in 2025 is none other than, drumroll please, ProtonMail. Why? Unlike Gmail, ProtonMail's free plan offers strong encryption and essential features that are perfect for users who prioritize privacy. While Gmail's paid plans excel in integration, ProtonMail's options stand out. It offers generous storage, custom domains, VPN access, and a password manager. And it offers excellent value for personal and business use. If security and flexibility matter most to you, then go with ProtonMail. If you'd like to see the best cloud storage and VPN roundups in 2025, check out these videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.